Hello guys, Puerto here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Project Remix. Now, I really like this mod, and I've been playing this a lot recently, because man, I've always wanted modded Smash Bros, specifically Brawl, because I grew up on watching homebrew videos and all that, and I was really excited for CTGP, but I had no device that could give me CTGP, or modded Smash, so playing this is really revolutionary for me, but yeah. If you're going to play this, apparently it's really good on Dolphin, and I will be linking a tutorial down below, which isn't mine. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So first of all, what you're going to need is an SDHC. You can get one of these at Target, Best Buy, wherever you can find a 32GB SDHC. You can get a 16GB, but I recommend 32 if you want to put in other content like Mark or Wii and all that. But for my Mario Kart Wii content, I specifically have a micro SD card, which is an XC, which is not compatible with this, sadly. So what you're going to need is this, which goes up to 8 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. This one, SDXC, is 64 to 128, which is not compatible. But yes, let me go plop this into my PC now. All right, so we're back on my computer over here, got my SD card inserted. So what you're going to do is click the link to PMEX download. This is on my other, oldest video of Project M EX Remix working, so click the link. I'll put this in the link in the description of this video. And let me just give a shout out to Sonic the Hedgehog 2000 for requesting this tutorial. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And yeah, so as you as you see, it says PM EX Remix over here. They have a Discord. They also have a YouTube video. So if you need help, go to the, click to join the Discord on this link over here, and you'll be fine. So let's go ahead and click the updated over here. It'll lead you to this Google Drive link. Now what you're going to download, I think I didn't personally export the hotfix files or the music bug fixes, but you can do that optionally. I'm just gonna download the Wii Download RAR. So click download for that. And it says download quota exceeded for this file, so you can't download it at this time. Which, what it's actually going to do is going to say, can't scan for viruses, it should be 4.9 gigabytes as it reads. And it says it's going to prompt you with, you can't check viruses, which it doesn't have a virus, I can confirm with you. And yeah, you're going to be able to download that. Okay, we're back right now, where it says PMEX over here we download you got the files in here and you should have exported the zip that came with it now it's a RAR and I have WinRAR to use that it's exported over here as you can see all right so now you got your file downloaded and you're ready to extract I would recommend WinRAR because WinRAR is free, even if it prompts you to buy, it's still not going to force you to buy it. And what you're going to do is you're specifically going to have to export the PMEX. This is a file, this is a folder, right? Has all this stuff in here. Let me just show you that. I've already extracted all this stuff, which is already over here. PMEX Remix 0.95DX We Download is right over here. But yeah, if you want to go back up one level, just go back up one level because that will extract it as a folder and so your folders aren't all scrambled around. But yeah, so what you're going to want to do for the purpose of this video is, let me check this real quick because I, I don't know if I have any, yeah, okay, I have pretty much everything I need. So yeah, so first off what you're going to do is take all these files over here drag them to your SD card which mine is the removable disk H now whatever your SD card reader has on your computer whether you have another device that reads your SD cards or whatever you're gonna have to figure out which which drive it is the E is my SSD and the C is my hard disk drive I think C is the default because I've had like a lot of yeah but anyways let's go ahead drag these over here and see how much gigabytes that is. This is why I recommend a 32 gigabyte SD card. It's gonna go ahead and extract for a while. 
and it may take a while. <laughs> I've had to actually wait like a few hours just to export all this stuff. I'm not even joking with you. But you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna wait, right? And you're gonna, and just let that export. It's a lot of gigabytes over there. Anyways, when you have all that exported, I've already had all this stuff on, so don't even worry about replacing nothing. You should have two files over here. Go ahead and show you on this. You should have two files over here. I don't have it for some reason. Rip. But it's going to show Netplay and all that. You're not going to need Netplay. You're only going to need Boost GCT and RSBE01 GCT. These are the two that you need. Don't have any more than that. And don't have any more than that because I'm pretty sure it's going to complicate a lot of stuff. But even in here, I got the code stuff. Actually, okay, yeah, never mind. I screwed you guys up a little bit, but you don't really need to replace anything. You can just keep everything, and once you got the, once you have all that exported, you're good to go. As you see, I didn't change any files because, yeah, I've already had these on my Wii for so long. But yeah, in codes, I don't know if there's going to be a net play or anything like that. If there's any net play, just remove it. Just remove it and put it into the nope not over there to the ex over here and you should be good other than that don't even worry about this over here i was actually pretty worried about this i was like oh do i need to code no you don't you're fine but yeah so once you got that going unplug your sd card and we're good to go to play on the wii all right so we're back on the wii over here just powered it up we're gonna go ahead and press A, obviously, because you gotta get past the warning health and safety screen. And yeah, once you press A, we should be on the Wii screen, and we are. So what you're gonna wanna do is check if you have a Mark or Wii disc or anything like that else in there. Now, if you have any other disc besides Super Smash Bros. Brawl, this mod will not work. I'm doing the tutorial with disc, not with the ROM. So what you're gonna wanna do, if you have a different disc like me, go ahead and de-insert that just don't just uh reinsert super smash bros change the disc pretty much and if you have another sd card in there that it doesn't have the mod on there which i did have a different sd card we're gonna go ahead and uninsert that and get another sd which is from my wii u over here so i had to like go ahead and uh take it out and i inserted it back into my wii now what we're gonna do Go ahead and insert Super Smash Bros. And then once you do that, hold on one sec, take it a little bit. Let's <laughs> wait for it to load because yeah, you don't want to launch up homebrew without the disc reading. That wouldn't be good. All right, so it loaded. We're gonna go to the homebrew channel, press start. And once you are at the homebrew channel, go ahead and launch the default loader. Now there's two, which I didn't know. And the USB loader one, I did not do a tutorial on, so we're not going to be using that. Make sure we go ahead and go to the default loader, which is going to be using the disk. Which is Project M Remix, EX Remix default loader. So yeah. When that happens, you go ahead and press load on the default loader, of course. And be patient here because it will take a while for you to get into Smash Bros here. But if you did everything correctly, should show a black screen for a bit. And let's wait like two, two more seconds. Let's see. takes like a minute or two to load so it's crazy but uh yeah so if you did this correctly you should see project remix dx and should be seeing uh everything else on the screen startup screen you should be able to see fine and once you're out of that press any button to get into the menu 
And yes, you should be able to see all these characters. There's about 126 of them, uh, as I counted. But yeah, also notice how it's a little bit laggy when I go ahead and like switch my cursor around. That's because there's so much characters that is literally breaking the original vanilla version that much. Somehow it is still able to work. But yes, let's go ahead and choose a character. So I like choosing Waluigi or Shadow personally because two of my favorite video game characters of all time. Me personally, I don't really like this character over here. I think it's pointless. But you know what? Project Remix is pretty solid. I feel like there's a lot of better options other than this character over here, man. Like, why the heck did they have to add that? But yes. Also notice how characters have different skins and all that. It's a pretty cool reference to their original games. And you got Waluigi over here. He has his skins from Wario, from Biker Waluigi, to Strikers. Shadow even has his own skins. Even a Chaos reference over there. Either Chaos reference or just a different Shadow skin, I forget. But yeah, there's also a lot of Smash Bros. 3DS characters and even some from like Switch over here. It's insane. A whole madhouse of characters over here. Shadow. But yes, let's go ahead and choose Shadow. Level 9 CPU. Oh shit, I just realized that was level 9 CPU. Alright. We'll just continue with it. And over There's here. No time to play games. And yeah, so notice how cool those graphics are. They look higher in quality. They also got different predecessors on the bottom there. Stocks look a lot more defined. The player one kind of looks the player one to see you. Uh, widgets over there kind of look like they're from 3DS. Even the graphics in general kind of look like they're from 3DS. It's, it's, it's very interesting. But yeah, as you notice, Shadow plays very well. Very smooth character. And the stages are really set up in a way that's really good for competitive play. Which isn't something that Brawl had really. We have like a few stages, yeah, but for competitive play, I'm pretty sure you need like zero stage hazards, and a lot of these stages were meant for like casual player, the average player. Not that it's a problem necessarily play like that, but it's like for competitive play, it's obviously pretty annoying. Now I don't know 100%, any competitive player can go ahead and correct me if not, but from what I know, Smash Bros has to have no items and no stage hazards. But yeah. The music is very well picked out, too. And oh, we got Dark Samus off there. I think that's Dark Samus, I forget. But yeah, this is Smash Bros. Project Remix. Went off the stage. Sorry, it's kind of hard to play, so talk at the same time. Not very good at that. No contest. But yeah, that was Smash Bros. Project Remix. And if you did everything correctly, you should see what I'm seeing. Just don't go to solo mode. Don't go to Project. Just don't go to um, Subspace because Subspace doesn't work. And online is sadly discontinued. Now, there might be a group of people working on it, including me, I might try to work on it if I get a little bit more in depth with what online service could work with this. But yeah, that was Project Remix, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, hope you found it helpful, need help, go to the Discord, and yeah, enjoy. Thanks for watching.